All right, let's come closer to home. It is not hard to find people who get frustrated with our local goose population and the big mess they leave behind. You know, goose poop, well, that's serious stuff because it can really cause health concerns, even closed beaches in the summer. So we're bringing in Paula Topman. She's live at Metro Park with a new weapon to keep the beaches clean. So how does this battle plan work, Paula? Hey, Karen. Well, I'm going to tell you that in a second, but first of all, I do need to let you know there is still goose poop in the grass and on the shore in the sand. But take a look at what I'm doing. This seems so simple, right? But there are big swaths of beach that have no goose poop on it. And that simply was not the case this time last year. For most who visit the St. Clair Metro Park in Harrison Township, the welcoming committee consists of a most unwelcome of imports, Canada geese, who for years have taken over the park, its grounds, its shorelines, and leave a gift that keeps on giving, goose poop. This has been a park plagued by shutdowns because of high levels of dangerous bacteria. 36 times the beach at Metro Park was shut down last year. The cost of the park economy alone, an average of fifteen to $20,000. Every single time the beach has to be shut down. A huge component of that is goose poop. There are so many Canadian geese, the whole population has exploded. You couldn't swim in the water because you could see the goose poop on it. Yeah, it, the goose poop was on the lake. It was disgusting. Nobody would put their towels down on the beach because it was nasty. Do you see them? But the theme song this year? Go, 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 go. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> A new tactic, professional canine contractors, border collies specially trained to harass the heck out of the geese, goosebusters. They act more like a predator towards uh, the geese, and the geese think that they're in trouble, so they fly away. But the, geese, the dogs never touch the geese or never bite them, never harm them. They just get them to fly. It came out of a combination of desperation and budget, or lack thereof. The cost, about $18,000 per year, less than the cost of shutting down the beach for one day. The dogs get the geese gone. But yeah, let's try this. And so they created this, you know, the boundary aspect, talking about this. You know, so the geese are under assault, not just from the dogs, <laughs> but as well, they have some of these remote controlled little boats. And when the geese think they're moving out into the water, oh, too bad, buddy, here comes the boat. Just move out of the way. The dogs have been on the job six days a week Good girl. for the last three weeks. As there's no geese at all here, and usually there's a couple everywhere you go. Yeah, you know, there's a pack of six dogs all told. That was Ellie who was working with us today. The experiment seems very, very promising. Uh, it's been done in other Michigan beaches where they've seen an 80%, Karen, an 80% increase in the ability to keep the beaches open. And so this does look really promising. They will be doing DNA tests in the water this year to figure out exactly what the problem is, whether or not it's sewage runoff, geese, as well as algae bloom. But again, they're hoping they'll be able to keep the beaches open a lot more often this year. We should, I can say we sure hope so and go with that theme. We get a call Goosebusters, right? <laughs> Goosebusters. There you right. go. I like that line. All right. Thank you, Paula. We appreciate it. Still